Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Craft Beer Review. So, um, literally a month ago, God, time, time moves on so fast. Might be a bit more than a month ago actually, but there's somewhere along them lines. Uh, Blue, I went over to Blue Monkey Brewery in Giltbrook and uh, how, how the world was a much nicer place back then to, to today. And, uh, and the week I've had. Um, but in any case. Uh, so, over at the brewery, uh, they released eight beers for their craft beer launch. Eight. Yeah. Um, still got this and three more to review. Um, and uh, this is their ginger pale ale. I'm a massive, and I do mean massive fan of ginger beers i've drank the best ginger beers in the world wanga my god the fire on that ginger beer is just stunning crabby's um reserve that they bought out years ago was a stunning ginger beer oak matured and it was so imagine something like this but in an oak barrel oak barrels matured and uh, it was amazing and sadly not available egg anymore i've drank every single ginger beer that's ever been released into the uk um in bottle or can even uh beers with whiskey and ginger when i worked at sainsbury's and uh, i even brew my own ginger beer as you will know on this channel i brewed uh Double IP, double ginger beers, um, and even an imperial ginger beer, sixteen percent. Uh, never did get the feedback off that from from the brewery and the people there. You know, not even a private message to say, uh, yeah, oh, we really like that. Um, if they drank it, they would know. And and that's from a home brewer out of Sherwood, Nottingham. Um, but in any case, so this is their. 8.6% version. Um, this was a small batch version. They have got a 6% version uh, that's wide streamed. So check out the website. If you live near Blue Monkey Brewery pub, check out the pubs. Uh, you may well see it in can or even on keg in the pubs. Uh, Blue Monkey are going down that way of doing stuff on keg. So um let's crack it open i have tasted it before i have done a small review at the brewery it was a short review couldn't really go into couldn't really dissect what was going off but i had a great day anyway you know it was an amazing day um the hospitality from blue monkey you know and uh to ian and Keir and daniel and the ladies behind the bar, Laura as well, you know, and Joe. Uh, thank you for that day. Uh, it's a much soberer Raggy's Beer Review tonight. Uh, I've had a week. Yeah, I've had a flipping year. I've had like a year within a week. Um, <laughs> and uh, I nearly burst into tears earlier because it, it just overwhelmed me. But hey, you know, life, life is is both encapsulating and utterly miserable at times, and uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> miserable today. <laughs> so, uh, ginger pale ale from Blue Monkey Brewery. I've known Blue Monkey Brewery since they were came out all those years ago. Um, I was at Sainsbury's at the time. Um, it was the Great British Beer Hunt or whatever they called it. We had Castle Rock Screech Out and we had the Blue Monkey. Oh, can't remember the beer's name. It was the Brown Ale. Um, and I upped all the, um, I wanted to make sure that people in Arnold had as much of it as they could. So I made sure that we got loads of cases and they all sold as well. Um, I think Bateman's Mocker won it that year, funnily enough. But no counting for taste. 
Um, although Bateman's mocker is a decent bit nonetheless, but you know. So, there we go. So the 6% version will look exactly the same. It just won't be as strong. So, it's basically the Ginger Pale Ale, Pale Ale Review. So as you can see, it's got that ginger look to it. You would class it as like a hazy golden pour. Typical raggy pour. Yep. Never done. I've never done a decent pour in my life. Yeah. 5,000 beers and more. If not more than that. Ah, ginger on the nose. I do love ginger beer. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to do homebrew. To do a ginger beer. A ginger wine. And also to do to do a ginger liqueur. And uh, I have hopes and aspirations. In fact, not just hopes and aspirations. I'm going to bloody do it anyway. But um, I'm going to brew a ginger whiskey liqueur. Yeah. Uh, so I love the 40% um, King's liqueur. I think that's what it's called. And uh, and Blue Monkey, let me tell you. A version of your ginger gin or rum that does the same as the King's Liqueur. I don't think it's, I'm sure it's the bloody King's Liqueur. But yeah, um, a ginger liqueur, 40%. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah. I'm going to do it. Okay. Ch -ch -ch ching I know I can. I've got the ability to do these things. And I shall do. Cheers. So let's dive into the taste. Seven minutes in. I haven't even got a drink yet. So unlike other beer reviewers. Who three minutes. They've done their beer review. And they're, they're sitting up, back up the house. With a cup of coffee in the end. We don't do that. This is Raggy's Beer Channel. And it's chuffing it down with rain again. Love you, brother. Um, we do proper reviews. We do reviews where you're at home. You're sat in the pub. You're there. You've got the drink in your hand. And you're thinking, Maggie's talking. Right. Get the beer down me then. Stop talking. Because I'm ready for a beer. I'm ready to see what you think. But yeah. You know. Oh, I'm getting a sweet ginger on this. There's a nice sweetness to the, to the ginger. Oh, I'm absolutely bursting to get into it. Right, here we go. So, initially sweet, with a, a slight fire at the back end. My homebrew has more fire, but I did brew, I did boil a load of ginger root because uh, it does, it does help with that side of things. I've got a right itchy head all of a sudden. I do apologise. Um, That's tasting very nice. 8.6 percent. It's certainly it's it in the raggy hot spot. What's hot spot? Not a good spot. Bollocks to that. It's a good spot. I do apologise for that slight swear in there. <clears throat> That's why nobody links to my reviews because I swear, and I go off subject. But isn't that what pubs are about? You know, pubs are about social. Pubs are about talking pubs are about enjoying the beer we're all 18 and over because you shouldn't be drinking unless you are 18 and if you are don't tell anybody um it's naughty but um it's about enjoying a beer it's about you know opening that can or bottle and enjoying what's there it's about is this the new my new favorite beer 
with kids in a sweet shop, albeit an adult beard shop. And the world of beer is amazing. You know, I have such admiration for my fellow people who brew the beer and those who want to push the boundaries and uh, in better times I will push boundaries at the moment I'm just trying to keep the world together Life, eh? It's tough at times, isn't it? It's tough, but my appreciation of beer helps me through. And uh, that is a lovely beer. Getting a nice amount of fire now. See, with ginger beers, you can put ginger root in. You can also boil chilies and stuff like that although chilies have the tendency to make it go really hazy so you've got to be careful with that um love the abv on this certainly hitting home and uh, i'm really proud from a from a nottingham person's perspective of um Blue Monkey's uh, transition into a craft beer brewery. Obviously, they are were well known and multiple award winning um, a traditional beer brewery with four pubs. Hopefully, more to come. Would love to see one in locally in Sherwood. I think this end of the world, this part, uh, is a thriving centre for. Um, restaurants and pubs and uh, we we have a place and I have spoke to the people at Blue Monkey about this and I, I personally think it would be amazing but obviously like anything uh, all of us these days are watching the P you know watching the money and uh, no worse than having two cars break in the same week and uh, multiple other things but um yeah um it would be interesting one never knows the world in front of us one you know um it's looking at what's coming and what the future is craft beer is the future no no regards there you know craft beer pubs craft beer pubs with a bit of entertainment You've got to draw the people in. You've got to have beers, an ever-changing list of beers, a beer fridge, you know, uh, encapsulating brands from maybe other breweries that you don't really want to start, but you stock them because, you know, it's a craft beer fridge. Um, but you know where I'm going. Um, just to say, we stock this beer. Yeah, we don't care, but we stock it. And, uh, you know, in that way. And, uh, yeah. Um, getting people in, you know, making it enticing. It's not all about the food. A, a pub does not need to have food to be enticing. I am not. A pub doesn't need to have food to entice me in. It needs to have good beer. Cask, keg and can. That's what entices me. Because I can go there and I think, oh. Well, maybe there's nothing on the cast that I'm interested in. Maybe there's nothing on the keg. But there's a bit in the the craft that I'm interested in. And a good range, obviously. Um, to be astute is, is, is the key. Anyway, I need to crack on. I have noticed that the raggy beer reviews seem to be getting a lot longer these days. Why? One, because it's getting dark. And two, because I need to chat. I need to chat. I need to enjoy. And um, like Rampant Lion beer reviews, I don't do short beer reviews. I don't like to because 
A beer develops over time. It develops, it gets better. So four minute beer reviews do not do a beer justice. You know, it does for a lot of people. For a lot of people, they're not interested in long reviews. But, um, you know, there's obviously people that are as well. You know, there is, and you know, there's a, there's, there's a balance act, you know. So, ginger pour, hazy, little white head. Beautiful ginger nose. Ah, I do love ginger. A good fire in the ginger now. Um, the, it's warmed up a bit and that ginger has certainly warmed up with it. It's quite cold in the beer room tonight. It's that time of the year. The beer room uh, becomes a fridge. And uh, yeah, the beers are actually drunk at a good temperature. <laughs> Yeah, not for me, but for the beers. Um, really enjoyed this. Hoping that, I know that they've lowered the ABV down to 6% to make it more um, wide, spreadly, interesting. I get that. But I do think the 8.6% is a great ABV. Um, and for me, both ABVs, 6% is a good ABV. It's a nice, strong ABV. 8.6% is more even a nice, strong ABV. Um, but yeah, but it won't keep it away. Uh, looking forward to seeing what's coming next. They have got a Cinder Toffee Stout available. It came on today. Um, hoping to get down this weekend. Um, I've suffered the weekend, the week of hell, and uh, you know, literally, I haven't got a clue when I'm going to buy the next beer, and that's, you know, it is what it is. You know, I've got a good selection behind me, and uh, even if I talk about homebrew, that that's where it is. You know, it is what it is. You know, cost of living crisis, cost of bloody car crisis. And um, and certainly bad luck, you know. But, you know, uh, yeah. And I've said you know about 20 times already. Someone did point that out one day. And I was surprised how many times I said it. And it's like, whoa, did I say that many times? Um, but yeah, really enjoyable ginger pale ale. So, out of five. For me, I love these, this a sweet ginger nose, um, followed into the taste, slightly sweet ginger, lovely bit of fire, not the most fiery ginger beer, Wanga is the most fiery ginger beer, if you're looking for fire, but it has got fire, it delivers a, an earthy, fiery ginger beer, exactly what ginger beer fans are looking for, we want the ginger! And uh, not what the crabbies and all them are doing. We want proper ginger. But yeah, um, it's tasting absolutely lovely. Uh, for me, a good 4.55. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will become the norm. It is what it is, you know. Breweries do what breweries need to do. But yeah, cracking nonetheless. And as I've already, already said, big thank you to the Blue Monkey team. Um, I had a great day down at your brewery uh, doing beer reviews and all sorts of things um, and it was lovely to be down there and you know from a from somebody who's a gardener uh, who, who likes to do this thing in his, in his spare time uh, it was lovely cheers all